Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Aries for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have yourself, the emperor, Aries or Taurus. The emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the emperor for Aries. Clarify the emperor for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the emperor for Aries. It is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or well, this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. It is clarified with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aries, listen, you know, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. 
She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. It is clarified with you, Aries. Leo or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands. For Aries, it is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past, flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument, <clears throat> and now you're not speaking to each other. This changed everything between you guys because something from the past was brought back up here. You could also tell me that you found passionate messages and you're using it in your intuition that they're dealing with someone from their past and this changes everything between you guys. But Aries, you could also tell me that you're wanting to change things here because even though you guys may not be speaking over a heated discussion or argument, you may want to reunite with this person. I want to see if someone from your past is in the picture. You have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Aries, it is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Aries, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, Aries, listen, you know, you could be apologizing to them and reuniting. Yes, they could be apologizing to you and reuniting. You or them could be apologizing for having had a third party. Like I said, someone from someone's past may be in the picture here. But Aries, you may have like a romantic gesture coming in to you to go out here and to hang out with someone from your past. That's why I question, did you have someone from your past in the picture? Aries, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So Aries, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now, you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt, or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that there's something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you broke up with this person because they hurt you. They had a third party or you're hurt because they broke up with you because you're mingling around with someone from your past. Aries, you have the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Aries. Clarify the Empress. For Aries, clarify the Empress. For Aries, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, you can tell me that you're looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're looking at your coins, your abundance here, and your feelings are hurt over some type of lack here. Was there a change in your luck and fortune and you got into an argument here? Because you had some type of good news that gave you just cause to celebrate, but something changed. Aries, you can tell me that you're waiting, debating, and contemplating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. And nurture the things further in this relationship with this person. Whether or not you want to reunite here. Okay. Like I said, it could be vice versa. You could have hurt them or they could have hurt you. It could be you apologizing or them. Aries, you have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Aries, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the ace of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings, Aries. So Aries, like I said, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment, Aries. Goodness. 
Aries, listen, very well could be some type of good news concerning practicality. You know, this can be work or business because even though you're the emperor, it could be work or business here where you have some type of good news coming in. I feel like your feelings get hurt because something is changing, but some type of good news is coming in ultimately, Aries, and you're going to be very abundant. Aries, you could also tell me that there's this offer of new love, dinner and a movie, or maybe even commitment, having just cause to celebrate. My question is this, who is it from? Is it the partner that you have now and you guys are making up and reuniting? Or is it someone from your past coming in here to show and prove something to you? Your old new boo. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. Hmm. And it says, interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. Interview, talk, conversation, get on the same page. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? And it says, alien, telepathic dreams and songs. Alien, telepathic dreams and songs. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's like face-to-face -face talking and it's telepathic talking going on. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Aries, this will happen in the next 48 hours for December the 8th through December the 9th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.